Did it put that in recently? Sixty stuff on. Just to get a two foot plushie for free. That's so cute and I love it. The line is still very expensive. <laughs> I'll tell you guys by the line that I got.
was cute. Yeah, right here, honey. I like how the anniversary is. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Kermit. Kermit. Oh, I always need a minute point. Which one? So shiny. Let's make sure we buy one that works. Today, I am so excited to highlight the relationships that we made with some of our animals under our care. We're reminded that all animals, no matter how big or small, play a vital role in their ecosystems. Now today is going to be pretty interactive. We're going to be asking you guys a few questions. Feel free just to shout out those answers for me. Can we do that? Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Well, allow me to shine a spotlight on our first animal coming out with my friend Brad. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. When you think of wildlife in the state of Florida, what animal comes to mind? Alligator. Wow, you guys did a great job on that first question we asked. I'm impressed. I made it easy though for you. The rest of them might be maybe a little harder, but not too hard. So this is an American alligator. This is my buddy Bayou, and he is an American alligator, only one year old. <laughs> hard to believe this little guy right here can grow up to nearly 13 feet in length and be almost 600 pounds. All right, guys, the next animal coming out with me and my friend Heather is a Eurasian eagle owl. This is our eight-year-old friend, Rain. Rain came to us from another facility that no longer was able to be her forever home, uh, so we were able to give that for her. Like I said, she is eight years old. She is full grown. Um, if anyone is native here um, to Florida or other parts around here, you might have seen an owl that looks similar with those two tufts on top of the head. Uh, that would be the great horned owl. Uh, so the great horned owl gets their name from those tufts up there. Hers are a little bit larger. She's actually about double the size of that owl that you would see. Those owls weigh somewhere around four pounds on average. She's about eight pounds. So friends, this is Katandra. Katandra is a Florida king snake. There's about 45 different subspecies of king snake out there and about 26 total species of king snake. It is region specific depending on where they are. They have a lot of cool adaptations and colorations depending on where they live. The Florida king snake is actually native to the southeastern United States. So you guys can see these guys slithering along the part of the forest, uh, marshes, swamps out here. And she has a more neutrally toned coloration. It's a lot of browns, lots of tans, and that's what helps her blend in with the forest floor. Well, coming out next is one of my favorites. He has defied odds. Let me introduce you to 14-year-old Eastern Brown Pelican making its way on out here from Panama. <laughs> Eastern brown pelican. Uh, these guys are native to North America and even parts of South America. You can see he definitely has quite a bit of personality in him, for sure. Now, you may be checking him out while he walks on out here. He's showing off that impressive wingspan. These guys have a six and a half foot wingspan that does allow them to glide about 65 feet in the air and actually dive down with remarkable precision. When they dive on down, they can actually scoop up all of their fish uh, with some water in their pouch, which does make it a little bit easier for them to catch, which he was showing off for you up there. Uh, but that pouch is a, a vital asset to these guys. Anyone know how much water his pouch can hold? Three gallons. Oh, three gallons. There you go, right on the money. Really? Three gallons of water. Yeah, there you go. They're doing all sorts of stuff at the animals right now. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I'm backing up. <laughs> Hope you guys like this.